What's up YouTube fam? Hopefully you're doing great today. Today we're going to be installing this Kenwood DMX8709S into my 2020 Camry. This is a uh, digital multimedia unit, meaning there's no CD player or anything like that. It's simply for digital media and satellite radio. This particular receiver is uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible, wired or wireless. So you do have the options for wireless uh, Android Auto, which is huge for me because I drive all the time and wireless is just more convenient for me. A little bit about this. Um, it's Datalink Mastro compatible, Sirius XM ready. It's got HDMI on the back. It's a capacitive touchscreen. It's a short body, meaning it's not as long like with the CD players, having to have that space. So you got enough space for your wiring in the back. And you can, on Android, mirror your Android screen to this screen, meaning that if you've got YouTube playing on your phone, you can watch YouTube on your, uh, your car radio and have it a little more convenient if you're sitting there uh, in a parking lot or whatever. Uh, flip the box around for y'all and it does have a rear view camera in parking grid lines like I said screen mirroring Bluetooth mic is included it's 50 watts times 4 is your max adjustable viewing angle via a digital uh, display the display doesn't move it's actually just uh, electronic adjustment of the display so that's what we're going to put in. I did pull up the computer screen to guide you, if you so wish. And I'll zoom in just a little bit here. You can see the price on it. My unit, which is, see the uh, right is the 8709S. It's $499, about 540 bucks shipped to your door. Uh, you also do have the ability to get the Kenwood Acceleron DMX 809S for 549 However, I opted to save $50 essentially because the only difference between the 549 and the 499 is one, mine has a one year warranty, that one has a two year warranty. In my opinion, I have never had any issues with Kenwood products, so that's here nor there for me. Uh, the only other difference is going to be on your preamp, the one for 549 has a 5 amp output and mine has a 4 amp output. Doesn't matter to me because I'm not hooking up anything up to it essentially. So it's just basic going into the, the car, car speakers. And even if I upgraded the speakers, I mean, it wouldn't have a, any kind of sub or anything like that. So this is more than enough and the only other difference is this is HD radio this is not I only listen to um, YouTube music or Sirius XM so I mean this is all I needed um, it's very rare that I actually listen to the FM and if I do regular FM radio is fine I don't need HD radio I think that's to be honest to me that's just kind of a, <laughs> a scam um, if you want HD radio, just listen to, uh, you know, your XM. And there's a picture of the front and the back of each unit. They are both a uh, 6.8 inch touchscreen. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about the unit. And uh, we'll go ahead and pause the video momentarily and get it unboxed and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we've got it unboxed for you. It's just easier to do it off the camera with space and everything. As you can see, this is what you're looking at. You're, it's still got the plastic on it until I get ready to install it in the car. But it does come with your cage to install it. Like I said, 6.8 inch touchscreen. It is a very, very narrow body instead of your traditional, which comes out to like here, holding your CD. 
Um, so you got plenty of space for your wiring. This is what your back looks like. Um, this is your Sirius XM cable. It's for your iData link, which I'll go over that momentarily. Essentially, this port here is what all your steering wheel controls and all your factory features that work in your factory uh, infotainment center. That's what this is going to do, and I'll go over that momentarily. Uh, let's see what else we got on the back here. We got AV in, video out, and uh, your rear cam. This is HDMI. You can unscrew that, plug your cable in, and lock it in. This is also a proprietary uh, Kenwood uh, GPS radio or Sirius XM. They do provide you an antenna to go with it if you want to use that. However, I already have that antenna in my car for uh, the XM, so I'll be utilizing that. You've got your outputs if you want to use it. Your wiring harness. Uh, you've got a couple things here. You've got a front view camera cable if you want to uh, utilize a front type of camera as well. You've got your microphone cable to plug in your mic. Then you've got your reverse signal. This is so when you put it in reverse it knows to put the unit into uh, to pop up the backup camera. And then you got this parking switch cable here. Um, this is essentially so that your parking brake has to be on whenever you want to watch video on the screen. Um, this is easily bypassed. All you're going to do is put this to ground, um, which we will be doing in this case. Um, on the wiring harness, uh, it's very simple to do um, on a Kenwood. It's just literally grounding it out and it bypasses that switch altogether. And then you can just watch video while you're going down the road or your passenger can, or your passenger can access features and functions that normally would be locked out as they are and should be if you're the driver. However, you know, it's nice for the passenger to be able to access that while you're moving. So we'll be bypassing this. Essentially, we'll just kind of cut this little tip off here and we're going to splice it with the ground and uh, that's going to be the end of that. So yeah, um, that's the actual unit itself. It does come with the beauty ring. I don't know whether my vehicle uses it. I have a dash kit that I got with it. It does come with your your screws and your keys to pull the radio out of the cage. Again, I don't know exactly specifically yet if I actually need the cage in my unit. I won't know until I pull the dash off, but it does come with it. This is your microphone. Uh, to plug in it's your wiring harness this is an extension for that parking brake cable you would plug that in and essentially plug this into your uh, parking brake unit and when you turn on your parking brake it would ground this out and then allow that like I said we're gonna bypass that so extra wire and you get your satellite radio thing with the proprietary uh, end on it, which we will not be utilizing just because I already have an antenna on my car. And I think this kind of looks... On an older car that doesn't have it, it's fine. Use it. I've used it before when I had a Ford Explorer, but my car's already got that, so we'll just save that or whatever. And that's what comes in the box. So pretty cool stuff. Now, what you'll also need to install this into your vehicle, and this particular radio, you'll need the Kenwood 2 Mastro T harness to radio adapter. You'll need the Toyota USB adapter. This basically allows you to connect your radio to the factory USB, therefore utilizing wired connection if you want and such. Then you have the HRTO3, HRN-HRRTO3 installation harness, and this is for Toyota 2018 Plus. 
radio antenna adapter. These little, I, I can't even remember what they're called, but they're little connectors and they're really great to connect uh, stereo cable if you don't want to solder, which I do not. Sorry about the lighting. It'll be better when we're outside. And then you'll need the uh, iDatalink Mastero RR. This is a car interface replacement unit. And this has to be programmed to the car and to the radio and serial number and all that. And we'll be doing that on video to show you how to do. So uh, come back and we'll program this to the, to the vehicle and then we will um, program it to the radio and then when we go to install it everything will work we'll be back <laughs> 